filled with the living word. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. The Apostle Paul gives instruction to New Testament believers and he says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. This has been our emphasis through the course of this week, just encouraging us on the importance of having God's word dwell in us, being alive in us and taking a permanent place in us, being a part of who we are, part of everything we do, guiding your actions, guiding your thinking, guiding your speaking. So he says, in all wisdom, and then you teach and admonish one another. That means this word dwelling in you, now you begin to minister that word to one another, bless one another with that word that is in you. Teach and admonish one another. You can do it through songs you write, the psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. So your interactions with each other is also being inundated, is being saturated, is being filled with the word of God. So as we relate to one another, we do it based on that word. And then he also says, you sing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. So out of that word dwelling in you, you now lift up a song to the Lord. You worship God. You thank Him. You sing to Him with grace in your hearts because of that word dwelling in you richly. Even your worship is being affected by that abiding word. You see that singing of that worship to God comes out of that rich deposit of word in you because now you can worship God for who He really is. You can worship Him in spirit and truth. You know who He is because His Word is abiding in you. You know what He's doing in you. You know how He's changing you. You know how He's transforming you because His Word is at work in you and that gives birth to the singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. You're filled with praise and adoration. So when the Word of Christ dwells in you richly, what happens? There is wisdom, you are able to teach and admonish each other. You're able to bless other people with what's in you. And you are, your worship to God is also affected because you have that rich deposit of God's Word in you. You see, when the Word of Christ dwells in us richly, it changes every aspect of our lives. So let's take time every day to be in that Word, to put that Word in us. It's going to build us up it's going to make us fruitful. It's going to help us overcome. It's going to sanctify us, remove all the unnecessary things in our lives. And that word will affect every aspect of our life. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Let's pray. God, we ask that you will, Lord, enable us to feed our spirit with your word. So that truly it will be said of us that God's word dwells in him and her richly. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.